Hi, this is Ali Duran with IBM Worldwide. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a new and an exciting feature that we have added to uh, Planning Analytics 2.0. It's called Sandbox Comparison. First of all, uh, what are sandboxes? Now the sandboxes are your own personal workspace. This is where you key in your values and this is where you can enter, store data value changes separate from your base data. It's not a copy of the base data, but it's a separate overlay or your own layer of the data values that you have entered on top of the base data. Now this distinction is important because it provides a significant performance improvement and it's important to understand as you make changes to your data. Now how do we enable the sandbox comparison in Planning Analytics 2.0? Now to enable it, uh, all you need to do is go to your tm1s.config file and enter a single setting. Enable sandbox dimension equals true. Now after you make this change, what you're going to see is a virtual dimension called sandboxes that will appear under your cubes in Planning Analytics workspace. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it and do a quick demonstration of how side-by-side -side sandbox comparisons work. Now I'm logged into Planning Analytics workspace. I also updated my TM1S config settings with the parameter that is required. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my car sales analysis model and take a look at my existing data. Also on the left hand side in the navigation tree since we have made this change, let's go ahead and take a look what has happened to our cubes. As you can see on the cubes, we have these dimensions and underneath my dimensions, I have a new dimension called sandboxes appearing. Now, how is this going to help me? Let's do a quick analysis, a side-by-side -side analysis using this new sandboxes dimension that we have created. Uh, I'm going to call an existing view called World Sales. Start using that. Uh, what I also want to do is um, all I need is the 2017, so I'm going to do a, a keep for 2017. And I'm going to create a new sandbox with my name, Ali. Now that I have created new sandbox, I'm currently inside this new sandbox. Now in the past, if you remember, if you have used Planning Analytics Workspace or if you were a uh, TM1 Applications user, you would see a sandbox scenario appearing on top of your screen, such as this. So you can toggle between the scenarios that you have created or the base scenario. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the base scenario first with Ali scenario the same data set 1.271 I'm going to make a quick change in here I'm going to change this one to 2 million uh, assuming that there will be a further a unit changes or unit sales in the upcoming year okay um, now that I have made my change what I can do is I can start bringing in uh, further information in here so that I can do my side-by-side -side comparison that I mentioned earlier for sandboxes all you need to do is bring in your sandbox dimension to your rows or your columns. As you can see now I have base in here. I'm going to double click, bring in my other sandbox that I have generated earlier called Ali, apply and close. Now I have two of my sandboxes, my base and the new one that I have generated side by side that I can do a comparison with. Now what can we do here to uh, do comparison? Think of this as a dimension that is virtual but has all the capabilities of a regular dimension. So what I can do is I can create a calculation. I can define a variance between base and Ali or Ali and base. I can also create some visualizations. Based off of the new settings that I have defined. This is how quickly and easily you can do sandbox comparison in Planning Analytics 2.0. Thanks for watching.